All right, then welcome back everyone. Let's solve this question after bus. So I hope you read the question once. But uh, basically, what they're saying is uh, we have two types of uh, buses: one with four wheels and one with six wheels. And they have uh, given a number n. They have given us a number n, which is basically the total number of wheels we have, right? So what we have to find out is what is the minimum and maximum number of buses that can be in a fleet. So fleet is basically, I guess, a group of buses. Uh, if you know the total number of wheels. So basically, uh, your buses can either have four wheels or six wheels. I hope you have seen such buses, right? So Fine. In the end, uh, you are given a value n, basically total number of wheels, and you want to find out what is the minimum number of buses that you can have and what is the maximum number of buses you can have. Now, there might be a case uh, where there is no suitable number of buses and print minus one. So, this can be a case, for example, let's say I give you seven wheels. If you give me seven wheels, uh, there is no way uh, to use like four wheel buses and six wheel buses uh, to make this like total wheels seven, right? So, even if I just pick four and six, it's at least ten, or four, four is at least eight, right? So, yeah, so for some values of n, it might not be possible uh, to have some buses, right? Some suitable number of buses. So all in all, the question is simple. Uh, we are given a, a integer n. It is, I guess, a positive integer, positive integer n, and we want to find out uh, what is the minimum number of uh, buses and the maximum number of buses. So basically, the lower bound on the buses and the upper bound on the buses. And if it is not possible, because sometimes it may it may not be possible, then simply print minus one as an answer. Okay. So how do you approach this question? How do you see it? So basically, we want to find out uh, what we want is. So let me come here and write it. So what we want is uh, in the end uh, we have to all in all n wheels, right? So all in all uh, we have n wheels okay and uh, this n wheels uh, should be formed using buses with four wheels or uh, six wheels right so basically this n should be uh, equal to something like this 4x plus 6y right so what is x here x is basically number of buses with uh, four wheels right so it is number of buses with uh, four wheels okay and what is y here y is number of buses okay it's the same right it is number of buses with six wheels okay so this is what how we want to represent n so yeah, this is what you want to do, right? So what can you observe here? You can observe one thing here. Uh, n is equal to two times two x plus three y. So what is this? N is two times some integer, right? Because x and y in the end will also be integer, right? So minimum and maximum possible number of buses. That's what we have, right? X is number of buses four wheels and y is number of buses six wheels. So in the end, I want to represent n like this, right? Four x plus six y. So basically, some number of buses with four wheels and some number of buses with six wheels. This is what I want to do, right? In the end, uh, n can represent it represent as two into something. That is what. 2 into k. So what does it say? Even, right? Right? <laughs> so n has to be even. This is a clear cut observation here, right? So one thing is for sure, uh, if n is odd, so one clear cut observation you found out that if n is odd, so basically if n is odd, then simply print minus 1. It's not possible. Right? Yeah, it's not possible. Because uh, if n has to be represented like this, for x 6y, definitely it has to be even because 2 into something. Fine. So Fine, so that means n has to be even, that's for sure. But does it work for every even numbers? That you should ask ask to yourself, right? So what are all even numbers? So I guess n starts from uh, 1. Okay, fine. So, okay, we found out that for odd cases, it's minus 1. So let's keep it here. So that's a good observation for us. Let's keep it here. So you found out that n has to be even. Okay, so what are the even numbers first? Just write down the even numbers. So even numbers, given the n's constraint, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, so on, right? Fine. Uh, of course, you cannot uh, have any number of buses when you have two wheels, right? So in case of even numbers also, uh, for n equals to 2, you cannot find a, a suitable number of buses. Okay, fine. For 4, does it work? Yeah, 4, it works, right? So, what is the minimum and maximum? So, minimum, maximum, uh, both are 1 only, right? Fine, <laughs> minimum, maximum, both are 1. For 6, what is the minimum? Uh, what is the minimum? Uh, minimum number of buses are what? Minimum, maximum, both are uh, 1, right? So, basically, a bus with 6 wheels. What for 8? So, what is the minimum number of buses? Minimum number of buses, uh, again, uh, you'll have to pick 2 buses with 4 wheels, right? There's no other way, right? You cannot pick a bus with six wheels. So yeah, again one, and then uh, sorry, two, right? Two buses with four wheels. So basically, if you want to write four plus four, okay? What is the maximum number of them? Maximum is also two only, right? Four plus four. Okay, let's just see one more ten. So ten. So what can you do with ten then? Um, with ten, uh, how do you do it? So what is the minimum number of buses? If you want to minimize uh, the buses, uh, you should uh, try to use as much as six as possible, right? So maybe I can pick like this six plus four. So two can be the minimum number of buses. If you want to maximize it, then Maximizing also like here, <laughs> there's no way, right? You cannot pick four buses two times, otherwise there will be issue. So maximum is also two here. Okay, so I guess these are not some good examples. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, the point is, uh, for any even numbers, you can get minimum and maximum. Okay, we'll come to minimize and maximize a little bit. But uh, in like, if even number is not two, you can get a minimum maximum of buses. That's the point here. Okay, fine. So that's one observation here. So let's see. Let's try to observe, like, make more sense out of this equation. So let me write it here. So you have uh, n equals to two times 
2x plus 3y, right? So x and y don't uh, like remember that is x is number of buses four wheels and y is number of buses with uh, six wheels. Okay, fine. So now we are dealing with even numbers greater than equals to uh, greater than equals to four. Okay, we will handle that case of will we can write if check if uh, even number is two then simply print minus one. So now we are dealing with even numbers greater than equals to four. Okay, fine. So let's simplify this equation a little bit. So I can write it like this, right? So n equals to like n by two equals to 2x plus 3y. Okay, 2x plus 3y equals to n by 2. So maybe I can call this guy as n dash. So let me just call it n dash equals to 2x plus 3y. Okay, so here n is basically an even number greater than equals to 4. Okay, and n dash is simply n by 2. Fine. So this. Is, so finally, we, finally, uh, if you see at this equation, we have something like this: 2x plus 3y equals to n dash, where n dash is simply equals to n by 2. Okay. So this is what the final equation is. So basically. Uh, we are dealing with the case where n is even, of course, uh, n is even greater than equals to 4. And uh, this is the equation we have that uh, n dash is represented as 2x plus 3y. And we know this can be represented. We just saw, right? Every even number can be represented. Some, like every even number can be represented as a sum of uh, the buses with 4 wheels, some of buses with, like some buses with 6 wheels, okay? So by simplifying it, we got it. So x plus 3y is equal to n dash. Now you tell me one thing, uh, our entire question is revolving around this value, right? x plus y. So either we have to minimize it or maximize it, okay? You tell me one thing, uh, if I want to maximize the number of buses, what are you going to do? So, let's just see. Uh, we'll come to both. So, I'm just talking about maximizing here. So, if you want to maximize the number of buses, what are you going to do? So, this is equation, right? So, this is what we are after. So, what will you do if you want to maximize the number of buses? Since x is associated with a smaller factor, you'll try to make this x as big as possible, right? So, if you want to, of course, maximize the number of buses, you'll try to get the buses with four wheels as much as possible, right? So, that's a simple observation. Now, because uh, since x is associated with a smaller factor, or in, like even greedy, right? This equation also marked as greedy. So you want to greedily pick as many buses with uh, four wheels as possible, right? So it is similar to picking picking as large value of x as possible. Fine. So if you want to maximize it, pick as large value of x as possible. Okay. Now you want to represent n dash uh, yeah, n dash uh, using as large value of x as possible. So what can be the what can be the biggest value of x? See, there can be two cases here, right? So this n dash. So it all depends upon what value of x you can take. So if n dash is uh, even, you can take x equals to n dash by two, right? So what I'm saying is, I see if n dash uh, depending on what value of n is, n dash can be either even or odd, right? So n dash can be maybe let's say seven or uh, maybe something like this, 10. So this is the case when uh, n will be 20, and this is the case when n, n will be 14, right? So all in all, if n is even, then n dash can be even odd or even, right? So depending on what value of it is, what value it has, if you want to maximize it in this case, uh, like let's uh, deal with this case first, this, this is an easier case. So if n dash is 10, basically even, if n dash is even, you can simply pick, pick x equals to uh, n dash by 2, right? You can simply pick x equals to n dash by 2, fine? And y will be zero, right? Y will be zero, okay? If uh, then x, so basically what I'm saying is here, you can pick five buses with four wheels and uh, zero buses with six wheels and a job will be done, right? You can see five into four is still 20. That's why, okay. So if you satisfy this equation, it automatically satisfying four x plus six y equals to n, okay? And that's one thing, uh, fine. So that's simple algebra, right? So now if n dash is odd then, if n dash is odd then uh, you might not be able to, uh, you may not be able to directly, uh, like n dash is not directly divisible by two, right? So what are you gonna do? Seven in this case, then uh, what can you do is, uh, if you remember, we have uh, like we can represent the odd number using three as well, right? So this, I guess, we have discussed uh, uh, 800 edit questions. So of course, uh, you can represent seven with this equation, right? So how can you represent it? It should not be a very difficult thing to observe. You can represent like this, right? Two into three plus, uh, sorry, uh, you can represent like this: two into two plus three, two into two plus three, right? So what is this? Hmm. What is this? What is this two? Uh, you remember this, right? The odd numbers. So odd numbers. Okay, if you forgot it, I'll, odd numbers are represented like two p plus one, right? But no one is stopping or representing like two p minus one plus three. I hope uh, you remember this logic. So what is this? What is this p here? This p is simply n by two, right? This p is simply n by two. So this is here, n by two minus one, n by two minus one plus three into one. Okay. So what did you get from here? What did you get from here? What do you get from here? So basically, this is the value of x. This is the value of x, and this is the value of y. So all in all, what is the total number of buses here? What is the total number of buses here? n by 2 minus 1 plus 1, it's still n by 2. Okay, <laughs> n by 2 minus 1. Okay, I guess uh, n dash by 2, right? n dash by 2. n dash by 2 minus 1 plus 1. So it's still the answer is n dash by 2. Maybe. Okay, so that's that. So if you were confused, I can take one more odd number here. Uh, see, let's say I have 13. So how do you represent 13 here? So how do you represent 13 using this equation? 2x plus 3y equals to uh, 13. So what you can do is uh, you can represent it like this 2 into 13 by 2. What is 13 by 2? 13 by 2 is 6. So you can represent it like this 2 into 5 plus 3. Okay, so I'm not going too deep into it because we have already discussed this concept a uh, lot of times previously. So basically, this can be easily represented like this. It is like 2 into 13 by 2 minus 1 plus 3 into 1. In the end, this is the value of x. This is the value of y. Right, this is the value of x. This is the value of y. So all in all, 
x plus y is still 13 by 2. So my entire point is, uh, my entire point that I'm trying to make here is if you want to maximize the value, if you want to, if you want to maximize the value of buses, the total number of buses, what you need to do is, what you need to do is, so yeah, basically I just showed you, right? You have, you try to pick as many buses, as many buses with four wheels as possible. It turns out in every case is the answer, the answer is simply n dash by 2. Okay. So you want to maximize the number of buses, your answer is simply n dash by 2. Good. So now let's try to minimize the number of buses. Okay. Let's try to minimize the number of buses. So we have the same equation. I'll just write the same equation here. 2x plus 3y equals to n dash, where n dash is a uh, n by 2. And we're dealing the case where even numbers greater than equals to 4. Okay. Fine. So we want to now, uh, let's come here. We want to minimize the number of buses, right? So here we discussed, just we discussed about the maximization. If you want to maximize, we'll pick as many buses with uh, four wheels as possible. So we are going to try to maximize this value of x. Okay. Fine. So now we want to minimize the number of buses. So we'll try to pick as many buses with six wheels, right? We'll try to pick as many buses with six wheels as possible. So we'll try to make sure that this y is as big as possible. Okay. Now, one simple thing you can observe is, um, uh, it all depends upon the value of n dash, right? It all depends on the value of n dash, how big of a value of y you can pick. So one simplest observation that you can make here is, uh, if n dash is a multiple of three, if n dash is a multiple of three, is a multiple of three, that is, you can say, that is, n mod three, n dash mod three equal equals to zero, then uh, simply uh, you can represent it like this, right? y equals to n dash by 3. Right? So what I'm saying is, if uh, n dash is a multiple of 3 like this, let's say n dash is a uh, 9. So if you have n dash equals to 9, you can represent your equation like this. 2 into 0, 2 into 0, plus 3 into 3, 3 into 3. Right? So what is this? This is y. I'll take one more example, don't worry. If you have n dash equals to, let's say 12, n dash equals to 12, this is again a perfect multiple of 3. You can represent it like this. 2 into 0, plus 3 into 4. This is what y. These are the values of x. These are the values of x. So all in all, all in all, x plus y is simply n by 3, right? So uh, we are trying to uh, minimize, right? We're trying to minimize. So we try to minimize and when n dash is multiple of 3, the minimum value is n by 3. Okay, fine. So what are the cases? So n dash, when you divide it by 3, if it is a multiple of 3, then your answer is n by 3. Okay, fine. But what if, what if, what if it is not a multiple of 3? Then Okay, so if n dash is not a multiple of 3, what are the other options? So do you know that if n dash is a multiple of 3, and dash, if n dash mod 3 equal equals to 0, then if, when you are trying to minimize it, your answer is simply n by 3. Okay, fine. So, what are the cases? When you divide n dash by 3, you can get a remainder 1. So, what are the examples? I'll take examples. Examples are the best way to understand such questions. Okay. So, remainder 1, right? So, remainder 1 are like this. 10, then um, what other example? 16. And I guess these two will suffice. Okay. 10 and 16. Okay, fine. So, how do you represent this 10? I want to minimize it. Okay. So, I'll try to pick as many uh, uh, values with 6 wheels as possible. So, basically, uh, yeah. So, how can you do it here? Mm -hmm. So in case of 10, what can you write is, uh, how can you write it? So basically in case of 10, I want to pick as many guys. So basically, I want to pick as large value of y as possible, uh, such that I can make a value of n dash. But right now the remainder is 1. Okay, so how close can I get? How close can I get before uh, I have to start using 2s? Right, so basically in the end, don't forget this equation guys. 2x plus 3y equals to n dash. So how close I can get to n dash before I start using 2s? Uh, it can be written like this, right? 6 plus 4, right? So 6 plus 4 can be written. So 6 plus 4 is what? So basically it is 3 into uh, it is basically 3 into 2, 3 into 2, plus 2 into 2. How do you write 16 then? How close can you get before you start using 2s? So, you cannot go to 15. You cannot go to 15, right? Otherwise, you'll, you cannot use 2. Here, in a similar case, you cannot go to 9. You'll have to go to 6. So, here, uh, you'll have to write it like 12 plus 4. You'll have to write 12 plus 4. So, it is basically 3 into 4, 3 into 4, plus uh, 2 into 2. I'll take one more example. You'll understand it. The point of this video is to make you understand, like, to make you think, okay? Not just throw the solution at you. So fine. So 19, how close can you get before you start using 2s? So again, um, 15, you cannot go till 18. Okay, you have to go to 15 only. So 15 plus 4. So how do you write 15 here? 15 is uh, 3 into 5. 3 into 5 plus 2 into 2. Okay, so all in all, uh, if you are observing, what I am writing is, uh, these all, if whenever the remainder is 1, it can be written like this. 3 into n by 3 minus 1. 10 by 3 is what? 10 by 3, uh, 10 by 3 is 3, right? 10 by 3 is 3 minus 1. Here, 16 by 3 is what? 5, 5 minus 1, 4. Here, 19 by 3 is what? 19 by 3. 19 by 3 is 6, 6 minus 1, 5. So, n by 3 minus 1 plus 2 into 2. This is the value of x. Sorry, this is the value of y. This is the value of x, right? So, all in all, what is x plus y? x plus y is n by 3 plus 1. x plus y is n by 3 plus 1, fine. So, when it leaves the remainder of 1, your uh, answer is n by 3 plus 1. Okay, when it leaves a remainder of 0, your answer is simply n by 3. Only one case remains now, when n by 3 leaves a remainder of 2. Okay, n dash by 3. Okay, so n dash mod 3 equal equals to remainder 2. Let's just take some examples again. So, this would be very quick, don't worry. So, the simplest example you can have is 11. Then uh, you can have uh, 17. Then I'll take one more. Uh, 
20. Right. So let's just see. How close can you get before you start using 2? So don't forget this equation again, right? 2x plus 3y equals to n dash. So how close uh, can you get to n dash before you start using 2s? You can write it like this, right? 9 plus 2. This can be written as 15 plus 2. This can be written as 18 plus 2. I guess this is very simple here. So this now what 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 I have, what I have written here? It is simply 3 into 3 into n by 3, 3 into n by 3 plus 2 into 1. Right? This is what I have written here. So this is again, if I sum some x plus y, this means x plus y is again n by 3 plus 1. Oh, so the question is complete here, guys. <laughs> so what just happened here? <laughs> okay, see. Let me just quickly summarize it. So uh, we found out first if uh, n is odd, it's never possible. But if n is even and it is not 2, it is always possible. Now we wanted to, now we wanted to minimize it. We wanted to first maximize it. So we found out that uh, in the end, this equation needs to be satisfied, right? So n dash basically, which is equal to n by 2, should be equal to 2x plus 3y. Now we wanted to maximize the number of buses. If you want to maximize the number of buses, we'll try to make this x as big as possible, right? Because it's a factor of 2. So basically, we'll try to pick as many buses with four wheels as possible, right? So we'll try to maximize it. If you want to maximize it, we'll try to pick x, x, x as big as possible. Now, it turns out that if n dash is a multiple of 2, uh, we can simply pick x equals to n by 2. Even if n dash is not a multiple of 2, we can pick x equals to n by 2 and we'll have one bus with six wheels. So basically, all in all, what I'm saying is x plus y still turned out to be n dash by 2. Okay, fine. If you want to minimize it, we'll try to make this factor as big as possible. We'll try to pick y as big as possible. Okay, so if n dash is a multiple of 3, I can simply pick y equals to n dash by 3 and x equals to 0. And so x plus y will be n by 3. Basically, the minimum number of buses when n dash is a multiple of 3. But if n dash is not a multiple of 3, that is, even if, if it remains, a it leaves a remainder 1 or leaves a remainder 2, what I can do is I can always uh, I can get, pick n by 3 buses with 6 wheels. I can pick n by 3 buses. I can pick n by 3 buses with 6 wheels and 1 bus. Uh, yeah, okay. I guess here it is not true, right? So in the end, total buses we can pick is n by 3 plus 1. That's what I was trying to say, okay? Here you can pick n by 3 minus 1 buses uh, with uh, 6 wheels and 2 buses with 4 wheels. And in this case, when the remainder is 2, you can pick n by, n by 3 buses with 6 wheels and uh, 1 bus with 4 wheels. I hope you got it. Uh, I guess I explained it in SD. Okay, so let's just quickly see the code for it. The code is pretty small. So I have written here long, long because the constraints are pretty high. So don't forget that. Now, when is odd, definitely answer is not possible. When n is even, uh, so I've just assigned a n to n dash only. So I just made n equals n by 2. So if n equal equals to 1, so this is the case when uh, n was 2, right? So when n is 2, the answer is not possible. Otherwise, uh, what are the minimum number of uh, what are the minimum number of buses? So you want to minimize it. Uh, it is n by 3 plus if n is n dash is not divisible by n dash is not divisible by 0, then only add 1 to it. Right? Otherwise, it's simply n by 3. Right? If n dash is divisible by 3, it is simply n by 3, otherwise add 1 to it. And maximum number of buses are always n dash by 2. Fine. So that's that. Uh, I hope you got something out of the video. I'll see you in the next one.